But before that, John's back to make his summery tapas. I am, indeed. And I just have to say, I want to live in Mark's house. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I'm going to go and lurk outside his window. I think I, I, not before I do. through the kitchen window at night. <laughs> not in a spooky way. I think I might give him a heads up because that might be a bit freaky, <laughs> yeah. seeing your little face in the window. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I am indeed making tapas. So I'm going to start off with my prawns because I'm doing three three tapas three today. Tapas. So I'm going to put some oil into a nice hot pan. With the prawns, you've got to make sure your, your, your pan is really, really hot, nice and good to go. Because in Spain, they do this a la plancha, which means on the, on the iron. Oh. So in with some chilli, get that going. Really toss it about in the pan. Straight away, in with some sliced garlic. That's six cloves of garlic, so it's really garlicky. But mm. when you're in Spain, you've got to have the flavour. You've got to have garlic, and everybody else is eating oh. garlic, aren't they? Oh, it's, it's so good <laughs> for you as well. And then in with my king prawns. These have got the shells on, so just toss those in. And they'll cook in a matter of minutes, so it's a minute per side, more or less. OK. And I'm going to add to that, because it's 9 o'clock in the morning, a good glug of vodka. That's vodka? A bit of vodka. So oh, now I'm interested. And no. then let that, let that simmer away. <laughs> what? I didn't, I've didn't. i never heard of have that you not? vodka with... It just it, it amplifies the flavour. So if you think about perfume, this sounds like a really strange thing to say, but perfume, the main ingredient is alcohol. And alcohol brings out and transfers all those flavours, so alcohol helps things taste better. Yummy. And it makes you feel happy. So this little bowl here, can I help myself to one of these already? Yeah, you can try one of those. They're de-shelled for you, because when, when those have cooked, I'm going to add the dill to that. Mm. So it's really gorgeous flavours, the dill. In, you know, usually you'd use, like, coriander or parsley, mm -hmm. but dill's great. So that's the first tapas. So the second one, I've got some chorizo here just... or chorizo, I should say, in my pan, and I've just let that... Let that um, Fry until all those gorgeous papakas. You don't need to add any oil with the chorizo, no, do you? That's because all it's got so the... much oil in it already. Exactly, and that, that oil is so orange thanks to that chorizo, so it's a gorgeous flavour. Mm. Uh, thanks to the paprika, rather. So it's a really great flavour. I'm going to get that frying off, and then all I'm going to add to that is a good glug of cider. So, so I'm making my way closer to you because it just smells so good. And the cider <laughs> in my hand as well, isn't there? Well, if you were obviously cooking these tapas for children, you could exclude the, the alcohol. Oh, just let them have a bit of fun. That's what I say. <laughs> but no, in all seriousness. No, all seriousness. In all seriousness, you could use, like, uh, apple juice or maybe some lemon juice instead of the vodka as well. Don't, oh, OK. Don't good get the tip. kids good drunk. Good tip. Not in the summer <laughs> Save holidays, Save the vodka anyway. for the adults. Wait till they're back at school. <laughs> so you let that stew down slowly, really, really slowly. It takes about 25, 30 minutes. But, yeah, if you can't, if you can't use a cider, use the apple juice. Just a nice cloudy apple juice would work really well Ooh. in that one. Does it go too sweet with apple juice? No, no, it's, it's actually quite nice because the, the paprika in the chorizo is quite very savoury. Mm. The sweetness just cuts through it. So apple juice works well in that, really, really well. So the prawns, now you can see, I've actually turned my hob off there, but the prawns are starting to colour. So you put them on a really high, really, really high heat. Mm -hmm. Let those colour completely on both sides and then just chuck in some finely chopped dill. So plenty of dill because I really love the dill flavour in there. It's a great flavour. But if you don't like that sort of anise-friendly flavour, mm -hmm. you could use the parsley instead. Okay, but tip. I've reserved the parsley for, for this chorizo and uh, chickpea dish. So in with the parsley. When this is reduced, you'd add the parsley. OK, so that's like 20, 30 minutes later. Yeah, 20, 30 minutes later. it's got a bit sticky. Exactly. It goes sticky. And I've got some here. It reduces really, really well. So you can see it's like a really dry stew. But the flavours of that, with a pint of... of, of I was going to say a pint of sherry, but a, a pint of cold <laughs> beer. And just one of those, it's just so gorgeous. Bit of a theme with the alcohol with Bit you, of a the theme, isn't there? I know something worrying going on. <laughs> and then the final tapas, which is the easiest one, I've just got some figs, um, just some, some, not the dried figs, the actual fr fresh figs. And I've just cut them into a quarter, but don't go all the way through so they stay stuck together at the bottom. And you put those on a nice hot griddle like this, drizzle them with some balsamic and oil first. The on figs, not the, the figs, pan. not the pan, because the pan just goes. Okay. So always keep your griddle pans dry oil and, and season the actual product, put that on, fry them for about two or three minutes, and all I've got here is a bit of parma ham, just ripped mm. up, just put gently on the plate, and all you do is get your figs and just pop those on to the parma ham. And that's the beauty of tapas. It's not about showing off with technicalities. It's not about, you know, doing, doing special gastro molecular gastronomy. I can't even stand the word. Mm. It's about... Good ingredients prepared with rustic sentiment. That's what tapas is. Love that. It's and it's about all about else. sharing, because it's such a lovely way to eat food, exactly, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. It's about sociality as well, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So a bit more oil and balsamic vinegar on there. Sherry vinegar would be more Spanish. I think mean, balsamic is Italian. Beautiful. But sherry vinegar would work too. So a bit of balsamic and then... Dig in, Lisa. Delicious. The third one. So you can see it's so quick. It's so quick to do. Well, I, I just... This chorizo and this... I'm not even going to use a stick. I use my I know. Fingers. I'm trying to be ladylike. I wouldn't usually. Gorgeous. That's a really nice, isn't it? Mm. Mm. But these figs, too, you've got to try these, because with that salty, salty ham, they're just so, so gorgeous. 
Oh, I feel like I'm in Spain. I know. And you're just eating with your hands. Black you're like, Marbella. sunshine. <laughs> mm, lovely. Mm.